Now as DJs we spend hours online looking for music from record pools to SoundCloud, Bandcamp, wherever it is. And when we find something that we like, we usually download that to our downloads folder. After that download process, what I usually do is I go through the music again, and then I drag each of those tracks into a corresponding folder on my hard drive. So a hip hop track will go in the hip hop folder, dancehall track will go into a dancehall folder, and so on. And then normally what I would do is have to open Strauss to DJ and do that whole process again, and sometimes I'd forget which tracks I've updated into which folders and then settle on just dragging each folder into each crate and then start the analyzing process and dropping new cue points onto those tracks. And this is where the hack will come in. Having Serato DJ auto import all those folders, all those files into its corresponding crates without you having to do anything. It's a one-time setup per folder and then everything else is automated after that. For those not too familiar with the auto import feature, it's found in your Serato folder in your music folder. And what it does is once you've imported your tracks into that folder, it automatically updates your Serato folder. My issue with that is once the auto import is complete, Serato DJ puts that file into a separate folder that you don't have too much control over. And you end up having one big folder with all your music in one place. And that doesn't work for me. I prefer a slightly more organized method. I did test this method with a partition drive and it seemed to have worked fine. So if you use an external drive for your music management and you want to try this out, it should work. But as I said, take precautions. So here we are on my desktop and I just want to show you where the Serato folder is. I'm just going to open up my Macintosh HD and show you where the music folder is and the Serato folder is. Now each one of these folders is a separate in my Serato and I just want to show you how this works with this hip hop folder. So what you want to do is command click or right click on the folder that you want to make an alias of and scroll down to make alias. Now what that's done is created a new folder with the same name and the word alias at the end of it. And inside that folder is the exact mirror of the original folder. If you go to get info, you will see that the file is only 1.3 megabytes on the disk. So from there, what you want to do is locate your Serato folder. And the first folder on the top is called the auto import. Now all you have to do is drag the alias folder into the auto import folder. Once that's done, you can open Serato. Now what we've done is we've created a hip hop crate inside Serato. Now before we move on and I show you how this works, I just want to show you how many Black Thought tracks I've got into this folder. Now as you can see, we've only got two. Now if I close Serato again and find the tracks that I want to auto update, here's the folder with the Black Thought tracks in it. And say I want to have this Good Morning track featuring Pusha T updated into my hip hop folder. What I would do is drag that into the main folder in your music folder into hip hop. As you can see, it's gone from here and it hasn't asked me to replace or update any existing files with the same name in this folder. Now, if we go back into Serato, and I navigate to my hip hop folder. And now if I type in black thought, you'll see that it's imported all by itself, the track that I've just updated into the main play folder. Now all you have to do is hit analyze file and you are good to go. Now if you're still a bit skeptical, I'm going to show you how to import all those files from that Black Thought album. So let's close Serato. We'll go back into the Black Thought album. I'll select all of it and drag it into the hip hop folder. As you can see, all the files moved from this folder into the hip hop folder. And we can close this and open Serato again. And if we navigate to the hip hop folder, type in black thought in the search bar. You can see all the tracks newly imported without having to go through that whole process of files, music,
scroll down to your folder and then dragging that onto the hip hop folder. Click auto analyze and done. If you tried this method out, let me know in the comments if it worked for you. Peace.